Thank you for joining us on JISD Live for tonight's playoff game. We'll be with you in just a moment. Once again, thank you for joining us on JISD Live. <laughs> Welcome in to the beautiful William R. Johnson Coliseum on the campus of Stephen F. Austin State University for tonight's area round playoff game between your Jacksonville Fighting Indians and the Silsby Tigers. I'm Lee Trailer, class of 2005. And I'm Swanson Trailer, class of 2016. Tonight's matchup features a clash of two Titans as the number 20 ranked Jacksonville Indians meet the number three ranked Silsby Tigers. These two teams meet for the first time this season, but do share a common opponent in Lufkin. Both teams fell to the Panthers this season. Jacksonville losing at home 43-35, and Silsby losing on the road 66-52. Jacksonville's defense is going to need to come up big, as both teams are capable of having hugely explosive offense, and we are most certainly in for a shootout tonight at SFA. The Indians come into tonight's game with an overall record of 24-9 after a big opening round win over the Kilgore, Kilgore Bulldogs, 56-29 on Tuesday. The Indians returned to form in the second half of that game after an 18-8 halftime score was blown open with excellent defensive play and phenomenal shooting early in the third quarter. On average, Jacksonville scores just over 59 points per game and gives up just over 46. The Indians are going to need their A game tonight against an exceptional Silsby team. Silsby comes into tonight's game with an overall record of 23-12, but are on a scorching 18-game win streak. The Tigers are coming off a win against the Liberty Panthers in their opening round playoff game by the score of 102-72. This Silsby team has put up some huge numbers this season and averaged just over 72 points per game while allowing just over 62. Taking a look at each team's district results, Silsby finished the regular season in first place in 4A Region 3 District 19. Jacksonville finished the regular season tied for first with the Bullard Panthers in 4A Region 3 District 18, but fell to the Panthers in a tiebreaker game one week ago by the score of 54 to 47. The winner of tonight's matchup will face the winner of the game between the Harden Jefferson Hawks and the Chapel Hill Bulldogs. Jacksonville has had a fantastic season thus far as they marched through their district slate after a great pre-district schedule. In the opening round of the playoffs, Jacksonville used a dominant second-half performance on both ends of the floor to defeat the Kilgore Bulldogs. Jacksonville looks to continue their success tonight against a Silsby program that made it to the semifinals last year where they fell to the eventual, eventual state champion Oak Cliff Faith Family Academy Eagles. To do so, they'll need to play fast, capitalize on their chances, and get a huge night from their impact players. That definitely includes our spotlight player of the game, Coda Kennedy. Mr. Kennedy is your starting small forward for this JHS boys basketball team. Coda is a big time part of this team and makes a significant impact on both ends of the court. A knockdown shooter, Coda can also score in the paint on offense, all while providing lockdown stifling defense on the other end. In addition to basketball, Coda is a multi-year starter for the JHS football team, is a standout on the gridiron as well, and is a D1 football recruit. He's committed to Lamar University to play linebacker at the next level. Tonight's starting lineup for Jacksonville from 1 to 5 are junior Carmelo Claiborne, senior Devin McEwen, senior Coda Kennedy, 
junior Jermaine Taylor, and senior Devarian Boyd. In just a second, we'll hear the Silsby starting lineup from tonight's PA announcer. Well, Mr. Trailer, this is a pretty impressive venue. We are once again at William R. Johnson Coliseum at SFA at Stephen F. Austin State University. It's the first time I've ever been here, but this is pretty awesome. It is. It is. It uh, It's certainly, I think, the the most impressive gym we've uh, been to so far this season, although the, uh, the gym in Athens was also pretty cool. It was, imp- it was cool. Athens has a great, great uh, venue, and it feels like a college gymnasium, Athens. Um, not quite as large as the one here, but, but pretty impressive in its own right. Jacksonville has enjoyed um, some really fun and, and really nice venues in this stretch of playoff games as they've played a tiebreaker game in Athens, and then we got to play in White House on Tuesday. And now tonight at SFA. Pretty fun. Pretty fun. Playing against a really, really, really good Silsby Tigers team. This this is a basketball program that's used to success. They went to the semifinals last year with a young team, and they're, they're here in the playoffs again this year. So Jacksonville expects a really great contest here tonight. And hopefully we get an exciting game here from William R. Johnson Coliseum. A really great rendition of the national anthem there from a Silsby High School student. We're just about set for tip here at William R. Johnson Coliseum. Six foot, 
I want to welcome in Mr. Ryan Travis, who just arrived. Sorry, I'm a little bit late. Had, got a little tied up for a wedding rehearsal for tomorrow. So, well, got that taken care of. I'm here. Made it before tip, so that's all that matters. <laughs> just in time. All right, looks like we have Jared Harris and Devarian Boyd set to get this game underway from SFA. Big area round playoff matchup. I have to give props to Swanson. He did a phenomenal job on oh, his, the pregame Oh, were you able to listen stuff. in? I was. He did do a great job. Silsby wins the tip. Draylon Miller drives in. Good block there from Devarian Boyd. McEwen quickly up to Florida. Coda, great pass, finds Jermaine. Jermaine shot off the rim, unable to finish at the basket. Silsby quickly the other way. Draylon Miller, 4-3. That one good. First points of the game go to Silsby. Big shot there from Miller. I've heard Silsby runs a full court press pretty much the entire game, and it looks like they are starting that here early. Devin McEwen finding Coda. Coda cross court pass to Jermaine. Jermaine now working inside, looking for Devarian. That ball broken up, but Devarian able to get it back. Finds Coda for three. That shot over the rim. Great rebound there from Jermaine. Jacksonville kind of unable to get a ball in the basket, but comes up with it. Great recovery by Coda. That one broken up by Draylon Miller, and he's going to lay it in on the other end. Miller is the standout play one of the one of the multiple standout players for this Silsby team he's a big time football recruit with offers from Georgia Texas LSU and others that shot from McEwen off the mark Troy Rice coming up with the rebound for Silsby LaMarcus Botley finds Jared Harris Dakota Kennedy on defense for Jacksonville Harris driving in pulls up for the shot that one off the top of the backboard, but foul called. Looks like that one's going to go against Coda, and that will send Jared Harris to the line. An exciting start to this game. A lot of back and forth already. A lot of pushing the ball up and down the court. First foul of the game goes to Coda Kennedy. Jared Harris connects on the first free throw. I believe he's shooting two. Harris connects on his second free throw as well. Early lead here for Silsby. Mello with the ball now for Jacksonville, looking across the court to McEwen. McEwen working against Harris. Foul called on Harris. Good job by McEwen there, 
getting forward and drawing that foul. Coda Kennedy set to inbound the ball for the Indians. Kennedy long court pass, long pass over to Mello, lays it in. Great finish at the basket there from Carmelo Claiborne. Jared Harris now looking inside, finds Miller. Draylon Miller pulls up for the shot, decides to give it off to J. Ron Williams. That one off the mark. Good rebound by DeVarian. Coda quickly down the floor the other way. Jermaine gets it back to DeVarian. He puts it in and draws the foul. Huge play there from DeVarian Boyd. Great finish at the basket, and that will send DeVarian to the line and one opportunity for the Indians. Absolutely huge play there from DeVarian. It would be nice if they had the score on the big board in the middle because I have yeah. to look under these flags to see what the score is. We're also having a little bit of difficulty getting that data into our, Great into our free broadcast throw from DeVarian. Makes this 7-5 to five now. Harris working to his right, drives in, lays that one in. Great finish at the basket from Jared Harris. Mello quickly up the floor finding McEwen. Kevin McEwen finds Coda, thinks about the shot, decides to kick it back to McEwen. Mello now taking over, guarded by LaMarcus Botley. Bavarian going to hand this one off. Great offensive play here from Jacksonville, and great finish by Mello. 9-7 is your score now after that Carmelo Claiborne basket. Draylon Miller going to be fouled by McEwen. That will be McEwen's first foul of the game and send Draylon Miller to the line, shooting two. Draylon Miller connects on his first free throw. Traylon Miller connects on his second free throw as well. Some good shooting from the line so far for the Tigers. Mello looking for Coda, finds him. That ball broken up by Jared Harris. Sills be going to come up with it. Looks like they're going to get Coda for the foul, diving in. Interesting call there. That will give Sillsby possession. That will be Coda's second foul of the game. 5.01 left here in the first quarter. Sillsby leading 11 to seven. Very fast paced game so far here in the first quarter as Draylon Miller works down the floor, pass broken up. Gonna go out of bounds off Jermaine Taylor. Sillsby will retain possession, but a good defensive play nonetheless. Jared Harris going to inbound for the Tigers. Gets inside to Miller. Draylon Miller working against McEwen. Good screen there from J. Ron Williams. Good deflection by Coda. The ball going to go out. That will give Silsby possession, but another good defensive effort from Jacksonville. Miller working against McEwen. Miller looks inside. Coda picks him up. Gets it over to Harris. Pulls up for three. That shot good from Jared Harris. Mello now with the ball for the Indians. Working against the Marcus Botley. Mello working to his left. Gets it back to the very and hands it off to McEwen. McEwen working around the three-point line. Trying to find a hole to drive in. Finds it and lays it in at the basket. Great finish there from Devin. Long pass finds Draylon Miller who connects from three. Some good shooting here tonight from the Tigers. 
as they now lead Jacksonville 14 to nine with 4.05 left here in the first quarter. Make Jacksonville gonna call a timeout. 17 to nine. Oh. They just tacked on that, that three pointer. And, I mean, I think this is what we were expecting to see from Silsby. It's very fast-paced, good shooting. I mean, when you score 100 points on Tuesday in a playoff game, yes, it, it means you shoot very well, not only from the line but from three and just lots of opportunities capitalized on for Silsby. And so far they've done that here in the first quarter. That they have. We'll see if that keeps up here. The second half of this first period. Coda gets that ball into Devin. Devin now to Mello. Mello with some room. And he picked up by Jared Harris. Mello trying to find some room to his right. Gets inside. Puts that one off the glass and in. Great finish by Carmelo Claiborne. Quick pass down. Finds Botley. Little behind Jared Harper there was the pass, but Harper able to come up with it, gets it inside to Mason Brisbane. Now back out to Harris. Good steal from Mello, breaking up that inside pass. Devin with the step inside, unable to finish at the basket, and Draylon Miller quickly down the floor the other way. That one off the glass, rebound goes to McEwen, quickly down the floor for Jermaine. Jermaine gonna lay that one in. Good sequence there from the Indians. Closing it with a couple quick baskets back to a four-point game. 17 to 13 is your score. 313 remaining in the first period. Miller working against McHugh and trying to find some space to his left. Looking inside, finds Harper. Harper pulls up for the shot. That one off the glass and good. Good shot there from Jarek Harper. Carmelo working the ball down the floor now for the Indians. Going to be picked up by Botley. Melo coming over to the right. Finds McEwen. Now to DeVarian. Back to Melo. Jacksonville trying to create some space here against this full court press that Silsby's running. Melo gets inside. Pulls up for the shot. That one off the rim. DeVarian tips it. Then Jermaine tips it back to Melo. Back to Coda. Coda pulls up for the shot. That one good. Great shot there from Coda Kennedy, who has been huge the past several games. And a big shot from him there Good. closes this lead back to four, 19 to 15, with 2.20 left here in the first quarter. Foul there going to go against Jermaine Taylor. I believe that will be his first of the game. Jared Harris inbounding to Harper. Harper now driving inside. Good defense by DeVarian, able to keep that shot from going in and getting the rebound. Mello looking inside, finds Jermaine, off the hands of Jermaine, goes up, he gets his rebound and puts it in. Another great finish for the Indians. Jacksonville really shooting well and kind of riding on that second, perhaps, per, second half performance we saw on Tuesday against Kilgore as they have 17 with Keep a minute 54 left in the first quarter and they had 18 at halftime on Tuesday, so a good first quarter here for the Indians, but that will send Jared Harris to the line. Harris, first free throw off the back of the rim, no good. Second free throw from Harris is good. Mello had to go up for that one, but comes down with the ball. Jeremiah Jackson on defense for the Tigers. Mello looks inside, finds DeVarian. Good move from DeVarian. Boyd lays it off the glass, closes this to a one-point game. Great assist there from Mello. That shot from Jackson off the rim. DeVarian Boyd gets the rebound, broken up by Jackson. Finds Jared Harris. Harris working against Mello, drives in. That one goes around the rim, and DeVarian Boyd comes up with the rebound for the Indians. Several big rebounds here from DeVarian on the last few possessions as Mello gets to the rim but can't finish. 
Another good defensive effort by DeVarian, keeping that shot from going in. Miller's shot off the rim. Harper comes up with the rebound, unable to go in. That ball being batted around finally makes its way out to Harris, who lays that one in. Good finish at the basket from Jared Harris. 22 to 19 is your score. Mello with a good move to his left, working down the line for Jacksonville, guarded by Harper. Mello trying to find some room, gets it inside to Jermaine, who's trying to find DeVarian. Not sure DeVarian Boyd was ready for that pass as it goes off his hands, out of bounds. Possession goes to Silsby. 31.7 seconds remaining here. Caden Franklin checking in for the Indians with DeVarian going off. Brady McCowan also checking in for Jacksonville. Miller working against McEwen, trying to get a block. Miller works inside. Good defense from Devin. They're going to call Miller for the travel. Huge defense there from Devin. 18 seconds remaining here in the first period. Brady McCowan set to inbound for Jacksonville, gets it to Mello. Miller on defense. Mello working to his left, trying to find some space against Draylon Miller. Inside of 10 seconds. Mello goes up for it. That one off the glass, off the rim, and goes in. Great finish for Mello, and that will do it for the first quarter. Silsby leads Jacksonville by one, 22 to 21, but a fantastic first quarter from the Indians. A huge first quarter from Jacksonville. Really seeing a lot of that athleticism we always talk about from this Jacksonville team here tonight. You know, there's games where we don't see quite as many moves inside as we've seen here in this first quarter from, from Carmelo, from Devin, from kind of all of them. It's just one to the other, some great passing and a great yeah, finish it, at the bucket. Really encouraging for Jacksonville to see Mello start so quickly. He's uh, struggled the last few games. He's had an injured ankle that seems to have seems to have really affected his game a little bit that he as he's played through injury. And he's played well, um, but certainly looks more healthy tonight, and he has been getting to the basket, getting past this athletic Silsby defense and getting into the lane. He's got eight points to lead Jacksonville. Miller with 12 to lead Silsby after one. And a great performance there defensively from DeVarian Boyd. Goodness gracious, that first quarter. He had a number of rebounds. Yeah, he was he, he, was, had, he created a number of problems as Silsby was driving to the basket. Devin McEwen pulls up from the free throw line. That one rattles the rim. Rebound goes to Harris. Jared Harris quickly down the floor. Offensive foul goes against Harris. Great charge take there from McEwen. Devin with the great defense. Continuing here, Brady McCowan set to inbound for Jacksonville. Checking in for the Tigers, we have number 10, Jeremiah Jackson. Jared Harris going off. Brady McCowan gets it over the top for McEwen. McEwen working against Jackson. Going to go up and be fouled. That will send Devin McEwen to the line. Silsby, like you mentioned earlier, full court press. They don't even concede the inbound. Jacksonville able to quickly get it up the court there. And Devin able to get fouled at the bucket. I believe that foul went against Jeremiah Jackson as he pushed McEwen in the back. So that'll be his first. McEwen's first free throw not connecting. Second free throw from Devin is good. Tie ball game 22 to 22. That pass behind the back of Miller from Jeremiah Jackson goes out. Jacksonville ball. Brady McCowan set to inbound for the Indians. 
McCowan gets it into Mello, who is in double coverage. Good inbound there from McCowan, able to find some room. Mello sprinting up the court. Mello finds Devin. Now back over to Mello. Mello pulls up from three. That one off the rim. Jermaine Huge gets rebound the rebound. From Jermaine. Unable to finish. Gets, gets it again. And finishes at the basket. Huge basket there from Jermaine Taylor. Jacksonville with the lead, 24 to 22. At first, the seven minute mark of the second period. First lead for Jacksonville so far here tonight. Draylon Miller works to his left. Caden gonna pick him up, gets it inside. That one off the rim. Jacksonville with the rebound. Jermaine able to be strong under the basket. Devin comes away with it, pushes it up the court. Looks like they are going to get LaMarcus Botley maybe? I believe they did get LaMarcus Botley for the foul there. Jermaine Taylor going to inbound for the Indians. Gets it over to Mello. Mello going to be picked up by LaMarcus Botley. Mello trying to find some room against this Silsby defense. Finally finds McEwen. Thought about pulling up for a shot. Now gets it back over to Mello. Mello has Brady McCowan over in the corner. Gets it across the court to McEwen. McEwen works inside. Pulls up for the three. That one good from Devin McEwen. 26 to 22 is your score. Six minute mark here of this first half. Jacksonville settled in. Good rebound there from Devin. Jump ball called. That will go Jacksonville's way, so they will retain possession. Good defense under the basket there from Jaron Williams. Able to get the jump ball call. Twenty-seven to twenty-two, Jacksonville with a five-point lead here at the six oh eight mark of the second period. Uh, it looks like they're going to give that ball to Silsby and Botley Woo! will find Raylon Miller. Goodness gracious, that was close to being a backcourt violation. Indeed, it was. Miller going to hand it off to Jackson. Jeremiah Jackson pulls up for three. That one off the rim. Botley gets the rebound, puts it up. That one off the rim as well. And the putback from, I believe, J. Ron Williams will go in. Devin McEwen quickly down the floor for the Indians. Lays it in. Huge athletic play there from McEwen. Goes the length of the floor. Miller going to pull up for three. That one off the rim. Mello gets the rebound for Jacksonville. Finds Taylor quickly down the floor. Jermaine driving in, puts that one up off the rim and off of DeVary and Boyd out of bounds. That will give the Tigers possession. A really exciting game here so far. Both teams pushing the ball. Jacksonville having no problems keeping up with the athleticism of Silsby so far. Draylon Miller working to his left, guarded by Devin McEwen, trying to find some room against McEwen. McEwen having none of it, gets it back out to Jamarian Elam, inside to Mason Brisbane. Can't finish, Jacksonville and good defense Miller, under the bucket. Draylon Miller gets the rebound, that one off the glass and in, and draws the foul. That basket will count and send Draylon Miller to the line and one opportunity for Draylon Miller. Five-minute mark here of the first half. I think that foul went against Jermaine. If it did, that is his, that is his first. No good on the and one attempt. Good rebound by DeVarian. Mello across court for Devin. Devin trying to find some room, loses good the ball. defense there. Good, good defense, defense on the again. other end. Carmelo Claiborne able to get that ball away from Botley. McEwen unable to save it, so Silsby will retain possession, but a great defensive play. 
Really from great defense from Botley to get the ball from McEwen, and then great defense immediately by Camillo at the other end of the court. I believe Silsby called that timeout, and with 4.48 left in the second quarter, Jacksonville leading Silsby by one, 29 to 28. A great first half here from the Indians on both ends of the floor. SFA's court's pretty cool with the trees on there. It is pretty cool. That's we were talking about neat. that earlier. The pine trees look great. Um, the venue itself is is beautiful, of course. It's uh, really well attended here tonight. Both crowds, both teams making the trip. It's an hour trip for Jacksonville, and they're really well re represented here on our side of the court. That they are. Good crowd here tonight. Botley pulls up from three, connects. Big three-pointer there from LaMarcus Botley. Devin McEwen now with the ball for Jacksonville. Getting picked up by Botley. Gets it over to Mello. Mello going to be picked up by Miller. Now back over to McEwen. Jacksonville trying to find some space. Carmelo Claiborne working to his right. Now gets it over to McEwen. McEwen guarded by Botley. Drives in. Throws it back out to Mello. He's wide open for three. That one off the rim. Tavarian tips that one away. McEwen gets a hand on it, but Botley still comes up with it. Lamarcus so Botley gets it over to Jerry and Elam, who finishes at the basket. And just like that, Silsby has taken a four-point lead over the Indians. Really after good that timeout. Really good assist there from Botley. And good finish by Elam as Jacksonville moves it around. Gets it to Brady. Puts up the shot. A great finish there from Brady McCowan. Driving along the baseline and putting up the shot. Good steal from Jermaine. How on the how is that a foul? That certainly looked like all ball from here. Jermaine reaching in. Looked like he had all ball, but is going to be called for the foul. Goodness gracious. They're going to get Devin for the foul there. That's an interesting call. If uh, That will be Devin's second foul of the night and will send Draylon Miller to the line for the Tigers. Miller's first free throw is good. Second free throw from Draylon. Miller connects as well. Carmelo Claiborne with the ball now for Jacksonville. Mello going to be picked up by Botley once again. Finds McEwen. McEwen guarded by Elam. Devin trying to find some space. Draylon Miller now going to pick up McEwen on defense. McEwen finds Carmelo. Mello working against Botley trying to find some room. Some good defense here from Botley. Mello finds McEwen, pulls up for three, drains it. Nothing but net for Devin McEwen. Huge three-pointer, huge important basket there for the Indians. Cuts this lead back to one. Lamarcus Botley finds Elam. Now back to Botley who pulls up for three. That one off the rim. Jacksonville unable to get to it, and J. Ron Williams comes up with the rebound. That shot off the rim as well. DeVarian gets the rebound, throws it off the leg of Draylon Miller. Botley puts up the shot. Good rebound there by Brady McCowan. And Devin McEwen now finding McCowan. Now over to Mello. Mello thought about pulling up for three. 
decides otherwise. Long cross-court pass to Jermaine. Jermaine driving in, but going to be called for the travel. Looked like a good play to me from Jermaine, but travel called. That will turn over possession to Silsby. Silsby now with still a one-point lead, 35-34, to 34, with 2.06 left here in the first half. Draylon Miller with the ball for the Tigers. Working to the right side of the floor. Going to be picked up by Mello. Mello trying to knock the ball away from Miller. Miller going to find Botley who drives in. That shot over the rim. Brady McCallum with the rebound. Foul is going to go against J. Ron Williams. And I believe... That foul maybe will not put Jacksonville in the bonus. It's very close. Silsby has 16 fouls. Brady inbounds to Mello, going to be picked up by Botley. Mello trying to find some room. Good defense here from LaMarcus Botley. Finds Brady McCowan. Brady now drives in, puts up the shot. That one off the rim. Rebound goes to Miller. And Draylon Miller headed quickly down the floor the other way, going to drive in, fouled on his way to the basket. That shot off the rim. And I believe they are going to get Brady McCowan on the foul. That will be McCowan's first foul of the game, but send Draylon Miller to the line. Miller's first free throw is up and good. Second free throw from Miller connects as well. Draylon Miller shooting well from the free throw line here tonight. Carmelo Claiborne going to be picked up by Jarek Harper this time. Melo trying to find some space to his left. Good screen set by DeVarian. Now DeVarian gets the ball, drives in. Ball goes off the hand of Troy Rice, who gets the block on DeVarian. Ball did not appear to touch DeVarian Boyd, and the referee will now make a correction. Jacksonville will get the ball. Great call there from the referees, changing that decision. Well, we, we like to point out sometimes that it's a difficult job. Mello finds Brady. Mello going to be picked up by Jamarian Elam. Gets it back to McCowan. McCowan trying to find some space. Troy Rice all over him. That pass trying to find Ryan McCowan. Broken up by Draylon Miller. Goes out of bounds. Jacksonville will retain possession. Isaiah Hamilton going to check in for Brady McCowan. Ryan able to find Mello. Mello going to be picked up by Botley, who I believe they have decided is going to cover Mello for most of the night here tonight. Jermaine finding Mello. He's going to be picked up by Botley once again. Cross court pass to Jermaine. Pulls up for three. That one. Off the rim, Draylon Miller comes up with the rebound. Quickly down the floor the other way goes Miller. Great block from DeVarian Boyd. Isaiah Hamilton pass broken up by Botley. Botley going to stop and pull up for three. That one off the rim. Great rebound by DeVarian. Finds Mello with a lot of room and a full head of steam. That ball knocked away from Carmelo. Jermaine able to get it back and off the foot of Botley out of bounds. Jacksonville will get possession with four seconds left here in the second quarter, trailing by three. Coda Kennedy going to check in for the Indians. Isaiah Hamilton going to come off. Back to, well, I said almost back to the starting five. Ryan McCowan inbounding for the Indians. McCowan trying to find some room, finds Coda. Coda needs to pull up for the shot. Jermaine pulls up for three. That one off the rim, and that will end the first half here 
from SFA. A great first half as Jacksonville gets a standing ovation from the crowd as they trail the number three ranked Silsby Tigers 37 to 34 at halftime. A fantastic first half from the Indians here tonight in this area round playoff game. Truly a fantastic first half. Jacksonville has had multiple games in a row now where they've started slow on offense. Not the case here tonight. They've played possession for possession with the number three ranked Silsby Tigers. I truly think this is probably one of the best performances so far that we have seen from the Indians all season. It really is. This so, is right up there. Great with, way to start. Right up there with the second matchup against Bullard, where they were firing on all cylinders. That was the home game at John Alexander Gymnasium. Jacksonville has been absolutely on fire here tonight in the first half. They've played, like I said, up and down the court with this extremely athletic Silsby team. Jacksonville has not only kept up with Silsby's athleticism, but they've made them pay for that full court press that they played all game long. Multiple possessions, they've guarded the inbound at the other end of the floor with huge pressure against Jacksonville, and Jacksonville has made them pay by getting up the court quickly and getting good looks at the basket. Sorry that I'm uh, not talking as oh, much tonight. I mean, I know I know <laughs> most people listening are, are saying, oh, my gosh, don't apologize for that. We want more <laughs> of that. But uh, – uh, big thanks to, to Ryan Travis, who, who's carried the commentary here tonight, because I've, I've, I'm doing more tonight, because as nice as this gymnasium is, the scoreboard situation is not the best that we've seen all year long. They have ribbon video boards at the top of the stadium, which look really great, but they're covered by extra baskets and um, award banners and and a few impediments to our camera's view that we use to get that data. And so I'm, I'm trying to manually keep the clock in line with the clock that's here in the gym, trying to manually make sure the score stays up to date. Um, and uh, it's been, it's been a, a little bit more hands-on work than I usually do, so I haven't been speaking as much on the broadcast. Once again, you're welcome for that. If you're listening, um, I know most people would rather hear from Ryan, Ryan Travis than me on these broadcasts. I'm fully aware of that. I'm fully willing to admit it. He does he does a fantastic job. So I, I absolutely. I don't know who's get it. told you that, but they lied. Well, so. well, of, of the of the minutes that I've watched back of our stuff, I can certainly tell you that it's my preference when you talk as opposed to me. <laughs> so, as always, Mr. Travis doing a great job. That's class of 2014. Ryan Travis. Know, we usually I, say that in the pregame. Uh, we didn't come up today. on my ten year reunion. Isn't wow. that crazy? Old man Ryan yeah. Travis. Wow. I don't even want to do the math to <laughs> figure out what <laughs> what reunion's coming up for me. But uh closing in on twenty years for the class of 05 graduate. Hmm. But it's been a fun night of basketball here from William R. Johnson Coliseum. And really appreciate you watching, whether you're a fan of the Jacksonville Fighting Indians or the Silsby Tigers. Thank you for joining us on JISDlive.com. JISD Live is brought to you by the audio video production program at Jacksonville High School. And all broadcasts on JISD Live would not be possible without the contributions of many student volunteers. And it's not just the evening of the event, the event itself that students make possible, but all of the preparation in the days and weeks leading up to nights like this that make these types of broadcasts possible. So once again, thank you to the students in the audio video broadcast program at Jacksonville High School under the direction of yours truly. I'm not going to say it this week. I won't say it. Good. I, I won't say it. Good. Because you do a great job. Well, I appreciate that. <laughs> I appreciate that. We certainly have a lot of fun. Um, nights, <laughs> nights like tonight. Sorry. I was just getting a little feedback from Mr. Luke Oker in the crowd here. Um, nights like tonight are, are really, really fun and and represent opportunities for students that are 
uh, few and far between at the high school level. And so I'm really happy to be able to offer opportunities like these for students at Jacksonville High School. It's also cool for the basketball team tonight getting to play at SFA. I mean, what a great venue. What a great memory for for all of these players on both sides that they'll be able to look look back on regardless of, of how long they continue to play competitive basketball. They'll always be able to say, hey, I played at SFA in their gym in high school. And, I, and I, I got to watch back the broadcast of it and listen to Ryan Travis talk about <laughs> me. <laughs> yeah, we would like to, to point out, I don't remember if you remember this game by chance, but they do have a banner over there where they beat number one Duke, Duke. here, 85 to 83. That's pretty awesome. I don't know that I watched the game, but I heard about it after the fact, and I was like, oh, my gosh. That, that's, that's pretty awesome. They're so close to us. That's and really they just beat number one Duke. That's really cool. We do have uh, some stats we do. here. From now, the first I do want to say. I know. I, know. Say, I, know. I, have, uh, I was maybe, trying to help you a little bit. <laughs> so, for I, a few usually, minutes, so, usually, you should take <laughs> the stats from our broadcast with a grain of salt because I, I do my best to keep up with the stats while we're talking. Tonight. Maybe, with, maybe a rock of salt. Yeah, maybe a boulder-sized boulder. <laughs> grain of salt tonight. Um, as I've tried to keep up with stats, but I've also, again, been much more hands-on. You do have the score with, correct here with, from with what I'm seeing, though. Of, so uh, I would assume that they're pretty close if they're not spot on. I think they're pretty close. But, again, big, big grain of salt taken with these stats. Go ahead. Uh, we do have Carmelo Claiborne as the leading scorer so far here in the first half for Jacksonville with 11 points, followed closely by Devin McEwen with eight, Jermaine Taylor with six, Tavarian Boyd with five, and Coda Kennedy and Brady McCowan with two apiece in the first half. Then for Silsby, we have Draylon Miller leading all scorers with 18 points, followed closely by Jared Harris at nine. Jarek Harper and LaMarcus Botley have a pair of threes themselves, and Jamarian Elam with two points here to finish out the first half stats. Big first half from Jacksonville as Silsby is very potent on offense, as we've seen. They've been able to shoot from seemingly all over the place, uh, doing a good job of driving in, but really great defense from Jacksonville and a really good offense as well, able to play against this full-court press, which this Jacksonville team does not see very often. You can tell that they knew that that was coming, as I believe Silsby runs that in all of their games. And you can tell that they practiced and planned for it here tonight as they have dealt with it extremely well as it can be kind of startling at times when you are playing against a system that you have not seen a lot of and are not super familiar with. So a great first half from Jacksonville on both ends of the floor. And a huge presence under the basket has Devarian Boyd been tonight. We've talked about him all season and how great he has been under the basket for this Jacksonville team. And another great performance so far here tonight in the first half as we will need to see more of that here in the second against the third-ranked Silsby Tigers, who have made it very far in playoffs the past several years.
about 30 seconds remaining here in halftime. And Jacksonville looking to repeat that excellent first half performance. Only down three, which is similar to maybe a 2-0 uh, lead in soccer, I would say, as I am a lot more familiar with soccer. <laughs> Uh, as 2-0 is often a very dangerous lead. I was going to say, three, I have been three told. points. I have been told that 2-0 two, two is the most dangerous score in soccer. At, at, at oftentimes, it, it seems to be. And only well, three points here for basketball, which is like literally one shot. So Grant Haney is, is fond of saying that 2-0 <laughs> is the most dangerous score in soccer as we are underway in the second half. Mello trying to find some room here against Draylon Miller to get the first points of the second half. Finds McEwen, drives in, gets it back out to Coda Kennedy who pulls up for three. That one off the rim. McEwen gets the rebound. Shot off the rim from McEwen. Draylon Miller gets the rebound. Finds Jared Harris who pulls up for three. That one good from Harris. Silsby scores first here in the second half. Mello working the ball quickly down the floor for the Indians, trying to find some room. Stolen away by J. Ron Williams, and Jared Harris slams it on the other end. I believe they are going to get to Varian Boyd for a foul as he went over the back of Jared Harris, trying to keep that dunk from finding the net. Unable to do so. And Jared Harris goes to the line. That free throw off the mark. Devarian gets the rebound. McEwen, a cross-court pass quickly down the floor. Dakota, Jermaine working against J. Ron Williams, fouled. We've had five quick points here from Silsby to start this second half. Jacksonville sets it inbound. Mello is going to handle that responsibility for Jacksonville. Gets it to DeVarian. DeVarian trying to find the net. That one off the rim. It goes out off of Silsby, so Jacksonville will retain possession. Thought DeVarian had the basket, and it somehow trickled out. DeVarian finds the net on this one, though. Great quick inbound from Mello to find DeVarian. Draylon Miller now working in. That one off the glass. McEwen gets the rebound for Jacksonville. Quickly down the floor to Mello. This full court press. McEwen is wide open. Pulls up for three. That one off the mark from Devin. Jared Harris quickly down the floor for Botley who pulls up for three. That one off the rim. McEwen going to get the rebound for Jacksonville again. Mello now trying to find some space. Going to be picked up by Botley. Mello driving in, trying to find some room. Pump fakes that one off the rim. Gonna go out. I believe Silsby they're gonna ball. call that off of Jermaine Taylor. So Silsby will retain possession as it looked like they had come down with the rebound. Jared Harris now with the ball working up the floor for the Tigers. Harris gonna be picked up by McHugh and looks inside, finds Miller. Miller working against Mello, gets it back out to Botley. Motley inside to Rice, who puts up the shot. And good from Troy Rice. That inbound broken up by Botley. As Silsby starting out very strong on defense here in the second half. Coda finds Mello. Carmelo Claiborne now back to McEwen. Devin getting picked up by Draylon Miller. McEwen working to his right. Now trying to find some space. Good screen set by DeVarian. Finds Coda. Now back to Devin. Devin had found some space there for a moment, but now getting picked up by Draylon Miller. Mello guarded by Botley. Mello trying to find some room. Gets it back to McEwen, who is open. Drives in. Puts up the shot. That one off the rim. Foul called. 
Looks like they are going to get Jermaine for a push in the back there. And that will give the Tigers the ball. That will be Jermaine's second foul of Got the game. Five minute and 20 second mark. Jacksonville 36, Silsby 44. Silsby with the eight point lead here. Miller finds Rice. Rice lays that one off the basket, off the backboard and in. Good reverse layup there from Rice. Timeout Jacksonville. And we have seen some strategic timeouts when Jacksonville has been struggling. We have. And, and they have come out of that completely firing on all cylinders. So, And they'll need that here as Silsby has stretched this out to a 10-point lead after coming into this second half just three minutes ago with a three-point lead. Shout out to the Jacksonville cheerleaders. The Jacksonville cheerleaders under the direction of Miss Demi Dotson Wilkins. Demi, who does a fantastic job. And the cheerleaders. And a big squad. They're outnumbering the Silsby cheerleaders they by a lot. So they are. Coda going to get this one in play for Jacksonville. Finds Jermaine. Jermaine now back to McEwen. McEwen over to Coda, inside to Jermaine. Finds Mello, Mello 4-3. That one off the rim, rebound goes to Miller. Draylon Miller quickly down the floor, pulls up 4-3. Off the rim, rebound goes to Mello. Mello trying to find some room quickly down the floor. Good moves by Mello, finds McEwen. Good pump fake from McEwen, but unable to finish. Jermaine gets the rebound and the putback. Great finish at the basket for Jermaine Taylor. Really great second chance points there from Jermaine. Troy Rice finds Miller. They're going to get Caden for the block. Caden who... A rare block for Caden as normally that leads called this the other team way. And charges, charges forced, and gets the rare block call there for Mr. Franklin. That will send Draylon Miller to the line, shooting two. Miller's first free throw is good. Second free throw from Miller is good as well. Raylon Miller shooting well from the line tonight as he has now has 23 points on the game. Devin McEwen working the ball up the floor for the Indians. Finds Mello. Mello getting picked up by LaMarcus Botley, who has been Carmelo's shadow here tonight. At the four-minute mark. McEwen Silsby. trying to find some space. Finds Coda open across the court. Coda's three-pointer off the rim. Jermaine going to get the rebound for Jacksonville. Gets it back to McEwen. Finds an open Mello. Gets it to Coda. Coda back out to Mello. Thought about pulling up for the shot. Now gets it over to McEwen. Devin trying to find some space. And Marcus Botley all over the floor right now for Silsby. And that shot from Coda off the rim. Draylon Miller's pass off the face of Mason Brisbane. Goes out of bounds. Jacksonville ball. Brisbane gets the rebound, gives it to Miller, runs down the floor, and gets decked in the face off with that ball. So interesting, interesting pass. I don't know how many times I've seen a ball that's being passed across a player hits them in the forehead, but I have seen well, it now. Well, you've seen it now. I've seen it now. Devin McEwen going to be picked up by Miller, trying to find some room. Gets it over to Cotto, who's picked up by Jared Harris. McEwen now trying to find some room, looking for a screen from Jermaine that's not quite there. Devin working to his right, pulls up for the shot. That one off the rim. McEwen gets the rebound. 
Trying to work inside again is McEwen. That one off the rim as well. Jermaine gets the rebound. That ball knocked away by Jared Harris. Goes out of bounds. Jacksonville will retain possession. Jacksonville able to get the ball underneath the basket and keep possession of it. Kind of struggling here to shoot and they convert. Silsby with the 10-point lead, 48-38. to 38. Two minutes and 50 seconds remaining. Mello finds McEwen with the inbound. Devin now working inside, finds Coda. Now inside to Devarian. Devarian shot blocked by Rice. Rebound goes to Jared Harris. Long cross pass to Rice. Harper. Harris pulls up for the shot. That one, an air ball. Going to go out of bounds. And the Indians will take over possession. Coda sets an inbound for Jacksonville, gets the ball into Mello. Mello now back to McHugh and picked up by Botley. Coda thinks about pulling up for three, gets it inside to Devarian. Devarian's pass off of Troy Rice, but he gets it back. Devarian working down the baseline, pulls up for the shot, that one off the rim. Jermaine able to come up with the ball for the Indians, gets back inside. Great move by Jermaine and great finish at the basket from Jermaine Taylor. I don't know how many of Jermaine's 10 points have been off of second chance opportunities, but it's been a lot. He's been I, I huge. I think it's been basically all of them. He's so been huge he's here been tonight. Huge under the basket. As that closes Silsby's lead to eight, Draylon Miller puts up the shot. That one good. Devin McEwen now trying to find some room. Skips past Miller. Bot Botley gets a hand on it. Gets it back out to Mello who drains the three-pointer. Huge three there from Carmelo. Seven-point game here at the one-minute, 30-second mark. Devin saves that one inside the Harris. That one off the mark from Miller for three. Long pass forward finds Devin. Gives it to Coda who lays it in. Great transition. Great counterattack from Jacksonville. Game timeout, Silsby. Huge sequence there for the Indians, closing this back to five as they were trailing by ten just a moment ago. This is what you needed if you were Jacksonville as Silsby was taking a three-point halftime lead and stretched it out to ten. Jacksonville cut back into that lead now with just over a minute remaining in this third period. 45 to 50 is your score. Silsby on top, but Jacksonville with the momentum. And really Jacksonville coming out and connecting on a few of those sequences after DeVarian Boyd came back in when he's off the floor tonight. It has been a struggle under the basket. Jermaine has still played great, but the size of DeVarian in there on defense has just been huge so far in this game. Yeah, he's been absolutely massive. as has Jermaine, you mentioned him. Multiple second chance buckets here tonight and good defense on the other end. Starting five back on the floor for the Indians. Botley gonna get this one in to Harper. Jarek Harper working the ball up the floor now for the Tigers. Silsby kind of slowing it down here, which is something we have not seen from them much in this game so far. Harper finds Harris inside. Harris to Miller. Miller off the glass and in. Good play there from Silsby to capitalize on that one. Mello now working against Harper. Mello, good move, finds McEwen wide open. McEwen pump fakes, drives in, going to be fouled. Foul. Great play there from McEwen driving in and drawing the foul on Troy Rice. That will send Devin McEwen to the line. First free throw from Devin is good. Fifty-two to forty-six is your score. Forty-two seconds remaining here in the third quarter. 
Devin McEwen good on both free throws there. Free throws as important as ever now. Big free throws there from Devin. Harper now working the ball up the floor as we are nearing 30 seconds left here in the third quarter. Draylon Miller finds Harper once again. Looks like there could have been something called there, but nothing called. So Jarek Harper will try to take the last shot, it looks like, here before the end of the third quarter. Inside of 10 seconds, Harper now gets past, finds Miller, who puts it off the glass. Rebound goes to Jacksonville. Jermaine going to knock that one away, but that will be the end of three here from SFA as the Silsby Tigers lead Jacksonville 52 to 47. Five point game at the end of the third. After a, a opening act of this third period where Silsby stretched out this three point halftime lead to a 10 point lead, Jacksonville has cut that back down to five, only conceding two points in that third period. And these area round playoff games are very fun. As last year, the Highland Park game went to overtime. This one here tonight, close after three. Five points is very doable. We've seen some good transition, and I think really the key to this fourth quarter is going to have is going to be having that key starting five on the floor. That will be big. And getting back to some of that pressure offense for Jacksonville mm -hmm. where they run the court. We saw that in the first half. We saw that a little bit in that third period. But making Silsby pay when they play full court press especially I'm will be huge. I'm impressed by LaMarcus Botley. He's been has big. He, he has, I don't think he's left the floor either. And they've been running a full court press that kind of features him yeah, as he, that full court guy. He's been big for this Silsby team. Jared Harris trying to work against Coda Kenny. That goes off ball. the foot of Harris out of bounds. Jacksonville takes over. Mello going to get this ball inbounds. Finds McEwen. McEwen going to hand it back to Mello, who's picked up by LaMarcus Botley once again. Could start calling him Mello's shadow. Draylon Miller breaks up that pass and finishes on the other end. Stretches the lead back out to seven. For Silsby. Jacksonville really needing to keep up the tempo they had at the start of this game. McEwen back out to Coda. Coda thinking about the shot, now gets it over to Mello. Mello getting picked up by Botley once again. Mello needing to find some room, looks to his left. Going to be tied up by Jamarian Elam and fouled. That is Elam's first foul of the game, and Coda Kennedy will get this ball back into play for the Indians. McEwen now finds Mello. Mello had some space for a moment, now finds McEwen. Jacksonville going to try to set up a play here. Mello going to be picked up by Miller, now finds McEwen. Screen set by Jermaine. Devin trying to find some room, working against Botley. Finds Mello, pulls up for the shot. That one off the rim. Devarian tips it. Mello unable to get a hold of it. And Draylon Miller going to come up with the ball for Silsby. Miller picked up by Mello. Miller working to his right, finds Botley, pulls up for three, and connects. Botley has been huge on both ends of the floor as most of his chances tonight he has capitalized on. Good finish for Jermaine on the other end of the floor. 49 to 57 is your score. 6.06 and counting left here in the game. Draylon Miller going to be picked up by Coda, trying to find some room. Sure looked like a lot of steps there once he picked the ball up from Draylon Miller, but somehow able to draw the foul. 
And did the basket count? It looks like the basket did count. So, and one opportunity here for Draylon Miller as Silsby now leads Jacksonville by 10. Free throw rattles the rim from Miller. Jermaine comes up with the rebound. Knocked away by Botley, but Jermaine able to come back up with it. Hard foul there from Jared Harris. Falling into the ankles of Jermaine Taylor. Foul going to be called on Harris. Jacksonville will retain possession. Coda Kennedy set to inbound for the Indians. Finds McEwen who gets it over to Mello. Mello now back to McEwen. Jacksonville was really having a lot of success in that first half driving in the lane. Have not seen a whole lot of here in the second half. Really hard foul there on McEwen as Jamarian Elam trying to get to that ball smashes into Devin McEwen. It's kind of turning into a physical game these last couple of possessions. Some physical fouls. Looks like Silsby going to take a timeout. So Jacksonville now trailing by 10. Silsby leads 59 to 49 with 5.36 left here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, Silsby been able to stretch that five point lead at the end of the third out to 10 here pretty quickly. Jacksonville will need to get this turned around pretty quickly themselves to get back in it in this game. Now, I'm not going to say Jacksonville looks tired because I don't think they do. But I think going against this full, full court press the entire game, they look more fatigued at this point right now than we've seen them in really any other game this season. Well, I will say this. If I had to go against this full court press. Oh, I would be tired too. I'm fatigue not <laughs> is not near a strong enough word. <laughs> Deceased would be much closer <laughs> to an apt description of what would happen. That's probably true, but the Indians needing to find their legs here for the last five and a half minutes. 5.36 on the clock, a 10-point deficit for Jacksonville as Coda Kennedy is set to inbound. And we'll see if Jacksonville can knock this 10-point lead down here in the final act of this area round playoff game. Coda finds Mello. That pass from Mello intended for McEwen. Looks like going to be kicked, I think is what they called. So Jacksonville will retain possession. Coda Kennedy going to get the ball back into play for the Indians. Coda gets it into Devin. He hands it off to Mello. Mello going to be picked up by Botley. Now finds Coda. Finds McEwen in the corner. McEwen working against Elam. Finds Jermaine inside. Good move from Jermaine Taylor. Good finish at the basket from Jermaine. That'll cut into that lead a little bit. Yes, it will. Now Jacksonville going to have to play some really good defense here. Jared Harris guarded by Coda. Drives in. Puts up the shot. That one off the rim. Devarian trying to get to it. Elam able to come up with it. That one off the mark as well. Jacksonville just really unable to get the ball here. And a big three from LaMarcus Botley, who has been huge from three tonight. That pass broken up by Jared Harris. Harris going to find Botley once again, who pulls up for three. That one off the rim. Jacksonville unable to get the rebound. It looks like offensive foul called. Yeah, Jacksonville may be playing with a little bit of desperation on these last few possessions. That foul going to go against J. Ron Williams. That's going to be his fourth foul of the game. But Jacksonville has plenty of time. There's plenty of time left in this plenty game. Plenty of time. Coda's pass intended for McHugh and broken up by Elam. Jamarian Elam, who has been on the floor for a while now, really kind of coming to life here in this fourth quarter. Mello picked up by Botley once again. Now finds Coda. Coda to McEwen. McEwen going to be picked up by Miller. McEwen finds Coda trying to pull up for three. Botley all over him. Inside two to Varian. Varian, good turn. 
Draws the foul. Good play there from DeVere and Boy drawing the foul as he's trying to get to the basket. That foul is going to go against Jamarian Elam, and that will send DeVarian to the line, shooting two. Huge play there from DeVarian. Jacksonville really struggling on that possession, moving the ball around the three-point line. But this defense from Silsby has been effective all night, and it was effective on that possession. But DeVarian getting the ball inside, getting the call, getting to the line, maybe gives Jacksonville an opportunity to reset, calm down, Varian's free throw off the rim. No good. Second free throw from the Varian is good. Closes the lead back to 10 for Silsby. Jacksonville going to need to put some pressure here on defense, try to get some steals and gain back some possessions to finish out this ball game. Draylon Miller finds Jared Harris across the court, who's picked up by Coda. Harris working inside against Coda, runs into DeVarian. McEwen trying to come up with it, finds Botley, gets it over to Harris. Over the back, foul called there. I believe that's going to go against Carmelo Claiborne. A lot Man. of contact on that possession, not just on that final shot attempt. That will be Mello's first foul of the game and send Jared Harris to the line for Silsby. Jared Harris connects on his first free throw attempt. Harris, second attempt, rattles the rim. Miller comes up with the rebound for Silsby, drives down the baseline. That one off the rim, but it looks like they're going to get Jermaine for the foul, and that will send Draylon Miller to the line. That will be Jermaine's fourth foul of the game. Traylon Miller's first free throw is good. Traylon Miller, who has been exceptional here tonight for Silsby. 26 points so far on the game for Miller. Make that 27 as he connects on his second free throw. Jacksonville needing to find some offense as they now trail by 13. Devin McEwen working against Botley, gets inside, pulls up for the shot. That one's good from McEwen. Elam with the ball now for Silsby. Going to be fouled by Coda Kennedy. I believe Silsby is in the bonus. So that will send Jamarian Elam to the line for the Tigers. It's Coda's shooting fourth one and personal. One. And Jacksonville's seventh team fouls. Elam's first free throw is good. Marion Elam's second free throw off the rim. Goes off of Jared Harris out of bounds. Jacksonville gets the ball. 
needing to find some quick possessions here are the Indians trailing 66 to 54 with 316. Coda gets this one back out to Mello, pulls up for three. That one off the front of the rim. Coda tips it to McEwen. McEwen inside to Jermaine, who lays it off the glass and in. Huge finish there at the basket from Jermaine once again. Harris finds Elam. Jamarian Elam now hands it off to Miller. Mello playing some tough defense there against Miller. Going to be called for the foul. That will be Mello's second foul, and that will send Draylon Miller to the line, shooting one and one. Draylon Miller's first free throw is good. Draylon Miller good from the line once again. Jacksonville Mello. pushing the ball up the court. Mello to Devin. Devin looking inside for Jermaine. That one broken up by Mason Brisbane. Jared Harris bringing the ball now up the floor for Silsby. Harris long pass over to Botley. Botley working against McEwen. McEwen trying to tie him up. Looks like timeout called by Silsby. Yeah, I think Botley was able to get it there as he was able to dribble as he was going to the court and then called the timeout. Smart play there by Botley. Two and a half minutes remaining here in this game. Jacksonville 56 and Silsby 68. Two and a half minutes is a lot of game time left, and this is a Jacksonville team that can score quickly. We've seen that this game. So it's not an insurmountable lead by any means for this Jacksonville squad. But they need to start scoring quickly and start scoring a lot if they want to make this game interesting here in the final two and a half minutes. Jared Harris going to get us back into play here with two and a half minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Dakota Kennedy on defense on the inbound. Harris plays that ball out in front of Mason Brisbane. A little Great too far out in front. Great defense there from Jacksonville. Forces the turnover on the inbound. Huge defensive play here as Jacksonville needing all of the possessions they can get in these last two and a half minutes. Mello quickly down the floor. That pass a little out in front of Coda, who hits it. Out of bounds, off, maybe off, off of the player. Great play there by Coda. Off of Jamarian Elam, out of bounds. So Coda gonna keep possession for the Indians. Gets it into Mello quickly over to Coda. Long cross court pass finds the hands of Carmelo Claiborne. Driving in, foul gonna go against Jermaine as Jarek Harper trying to get around Jermaine. That will be Jermaine's fifth foul. So that will be the last we see, unfortunately, of Jermaine Taylor here tonight. You know, you mentioned it earlier how effective Botley had been on defense and offense for this Silsby team, and he'd been such a big part of their pressure defense. He's down here on the other end of the court working out what looked like some looks like some cramps with the trainer. Um, so just goes to show how much effort he's put in tonight in a great, great performance for Botley as he has nine big points and maybe more importantly for this Silsby team, some excellent defense, some excellent on-man defense all night long as he's now back up and heads to their bench. Good to see that he's healthy and just working out some cramps after a great performance here tonight. 
Good game from Jermaine. Unfortunately, going to foul out here tonight. Yeah, and Jermaine's another player on the court tonight. Good break up by McHugh, and that goes off of that goes off of Miller, but called the other way. Looks like they're going to talk. Like they're going to talk about it because that ball was definitely off the hands of Draylon Miller. That is unbelievable here. Silsby does retain possession. Good breakup by Mello. That one goes out off of Jared Harris. Jacksonville will get the ball. So in what was an unfortunate call for Jacksonville. Great play there from Mello. Great play there. No, he's, he's pointing Jacksonville's way. Kind of an odd sequence there as Jacksonville does get the ball inbounded. Mello with the ball. Gets Finds it to McHugh Devin. Devin pulls up for three. That one off the rim. DeVarian able to tip that one. Looks like they're going to get maybe DeVarian for the foul. It looks like that foul is going to go against DeVarian Boyd. Not sure who that that's going to send to the line. Looks like it will be Draylon Miller from the looks of it as Miller is at the free throw line for Silsby. Miller's first free throw off the rim. Silsby now in the double bonus as Jacksonville has 10 team fouls. Traylon Miller's second free throw off the rim. Rebound Jared Harris. Gets it back out to Miller. Who hands it off to Jamarian Elam. Harris now back to Miller. Miller long pass to Elam. Seals will be trying to burn as much clock here as they can. Good break up by Devin. That goes off the hand of another call goes against Jacksonville. As that ball looked like it went off of Jared Harris's hand. Good defensive play there. From McEwen. Harris sets it inbound for Silsby. Gets it in and gets it right back. Harris forward to Elam. Elam trying to find some space. Devin McEwen playing some good defense once again. That ball finds its way into Brisbane, who's off the rim, but Miller gets the putback off the rebound for Silsby. Tigers now leading by 14, 70 to 56, a minute 25 and counting left in the game. That shot from Devin McEwen off the rim. Draylon Miller comes up with a rebound. Harper pass to Miller, broken up. Good defense there from Coda, able to keep that ball from finding the hands of Draylon Miller. And a good finish at the basket for the Indians. Mello like able to finish at the basket. Timeout called. Looks like Jacksonville called that timeout, I believe. 110 remaining here in this game. Jacksonville down by 12 to Silsby. Silsby with a great second half after this was a three point game at halftime. And Jacksonville with a great effort here tonight and has really stayed with the number three ranked team in the state here tonight. Great performances. Jermaine was huge tonight, 16 points for Jermaine. A ton of offensive rebounds, a ton of putbacks, great defense all night long for Jermaine. He was huge, as he always is. Um, really we've, seen, we've seen Jacksonville struggle shooting some, and we've seen some of that here tonight, but a great play under the basket from Jermaine throughout this entire game, able to get those rebounds. And really, if it weren't for Jermaine scoring a lot of those points, I'm not sure this game would be quite as close as it has been. Yeah, he, he was he was absolutely huge for Jacksonville tonight. Unfortunate to see him foul out and have to finish this game on the bench, but what a performance from Jermaine tonight. Really, really great performance by him. Elam finds Brisbane. Now back to Elam, over to Miller. Finds Harper. Now back to Harris. Some quick passing here from Silsby. And Carmelo Claiborne going to grab Jared Harris. And that will send Harris to the line, shooting two. That will be 
I believe that's Mello's third of the night. Jared Harris to the line for the Tigers. Harris first free throw. Rolls around the rim, no good. Jared Harris converts on his second free throw attempt. Mello quickly down the floor, finds McHugh, and McHugh in trying to find some space against Miller is able to do so, pulls up for three, that one off the rim. Jared Harris gets the rebound for Silsby, quickly down the floor the other way, finds Harper who goes in. Great block there from DeVarian. Big time block there from DeVarian. He's also been huge tonight. A lot of Silsby's offense has come from outside, some three-point opportunities, a lot of good long-distance shooting for the Tigers here tonight. But between Jermaine and DeVarian, they have not given up a lot of easy looks at the basket. Jamarian Elam going to be fouled. Looks like that one's going to go against Brady McCowan. I believe that will be Brady's third foul of the night. And send Jamarian Elam to the line for Silsby. Elam's first free throw off the back of the rim. No good. Second free throw from Elam is good. Tavarian quickly gets it into Mello, who's driving down the court, pulls up for three. That one off the rim. McEwen able to deflect it off the hands of Jared Harris, but out of bounds. Silsby will retain possession after Harris grabbed that rebound. Jamarian Elam set to inbound the ball. Brady McCowan on defense finds Brisbane inside. Elam quickly down the floor finds Harris. Great defensive play from Coda, able to keep that dunk from going in. Mello driving in now, going to be fouled. Not sure if that's going to go against Brisbane or Elam. Looks like they are going to get Mason Brisbane for that foul. That will be his first of the night, but send Carmelo Claiborne to the line for Jacksonville. First free throw from Mello is good. Ryan McCowan checks into the game for DeVarian Boyd. Second free throw from Mello is good. Two good free throws from Carmelo Claiborne. Brady with a quick foul. Only problem is that's the one guy you definitely don't want to foul as Draylon Miller now has 31 points on yeah, the night. He's been as advertised. Uh, we heard a lot about Draylon Miller coming into this game and certainly not exaggerated. He's an excellent player. Um, I know he's a big-time football recruit as well, and he certainly looks the part and has been extremely effective from the field here tonight. Miller connecting on his first free throw. Second free throw from Miller is good, so that will give him 33 so far on the night. As Silsby now leads Jacksonville 74 to 60 with 13 seconds and counting remaining. Ryan McCowan pulls up 4-3, that one off the rim. Brady able to get the rebound. Not entirely sure what was called there. Maybe they said Brady stepped out of bounds. But as we are under three seconds now, that will most likely do it. From SFA, Silsby takes down the Indians 74 to 60 in a very hard fought area playoff round game. A great performance tonight from your Jacksonville Indians basketball team. Unfortunate result, but Silsby a very, very good opponent. The number three ranked team in the state here tonight, the Silsby Tigers and Jacksonville with a 
really good showing for most of this game. It was a three-point game at half. They were a fi- down by five after three. Seals be able to kind of break it open there in the fourth period. But absolutely nothing to feel bad about here for Jacksonville. This was a really great, really great season for them. Sad to see it over, but really can't say enough about this Jacksonville Indians program under the direction of head coach Mark Alexander and really just the great, great program that he's built here in Jacksonville. Second year in a row that they've gone to the area round of the playoffs as last year. They fell to Highland Park this year, falling against the Silsby Tigers. A great showing here tonight for head coach Mark Alexander and this Jacksonville Indians basketball team. Definitely want to mention Coda Kennedy, Devin McEwen, Devarian Boyd, Ryan McCowan, and Caden Franklin, your seniors on this basketball team. Um, A lot of those major contributors to this basketball team, also major contributors to the football team here at Jacksonville High School. They will be missed. They will be missed. It was a great senior class, not just as far as athletic results, but having taught almost all of these on the basketball team, truly just great students, great young men, and they represent the city of Jacksonville extremely well. Well, any other thoughts before we wrap up here, Mr. Travis? Uh, We can go over some stats here. Uh, We had Jermaine Taylor with 16 points tonight leading the Jacksonville squad. Carmelo Claiborne with 15. Devin McEwen with 15 as well. Devarian Boyd with 8 points. A quiet night kind of for Coda Kennedy, who is kind of struggling to find an opening from this lockdown defense that Silsby was playing. A a quiet night maybe in the scoring column, but he was – he, he was, was very effective. He was a quiet hugely. night from what we've seen the past couple games. Yeah, the he, column. and that's worth pointing out. His, his last few games have been some of his best for, on, on the basketball court. He's led the team in scoring the last three games, mm-hmm. and while tonight he didn't he didn't uh, lead the team in scoring or anything like that, he certainly was impactful here tonight. Some great individual defense from Coda. Um, some really great splash plays as well. So, but four, po- four, four points on the night for Coda, and then Brady McCowan, have had two as well. A solid performance tonight from the Indians, just not quite enough to take down this very, very good Silsby team, and we'll see how far that they go. They've got a very good squad. They do, they do. It'll be fun to watch, and we'll certainly keep up with that. We wish them good fortune for the remainder of the season. Um, In speaking to head coach Mark Alexander earlier today, he spoke extremely highly of head coach Joe Siegler of of the Silsby Tigers and and just really just had great thing to say after great thing. So they're in great hands, it sounds like, and we're we're hopeful that they have a great remainder of the season. Whether you're a fan of the Jacksonville Fighting Indians or the Til, the Silsby Tigers, thank you for watching here on JISD Live.